Across Indianapolis have been busy all day long taking calls and orders for a controversial book about President Donald Trump and his administration. 24 Hour News 8 3 Win joins us now with more on the rush of some people to get a copy of this book. B. Yeah, Brooke and Phil, the book is called Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House by Michael Wolf, and a lot of people are talking about it. The book is now sold out everywhere in Indianapolis. The author makes a lot of accusations about the president's administration, from the campaign to the election to his family, and by Vice President Mike Pence. Indy reads books on Mass Ave got more than 20 phone calls Friday about this controversial book about President Donald Trump. The phone started ringing off the hook as soon as we opened. The independent oh, bookstore to took that, several uh, orders over the phone. Really and the store manager it. says they are still waiting to get a shipment of the book. I called our distributor to get the scoop and um, the books aren't even in the warehouse yet. They will not be in until next week. The book was scheduled to hit stores next Tuesday, but the publisher moved up the release date to today after receiving a cease and desist letter from the president's attorney. It sparks interest. If their, you know, if their goal was to sell books, and my guess is that's what the publisher wanted, they're certainly being effective in this way. A political science professor with the University of Indianapolis says the book paints a picture of drama and chaos. Not just about the administration, but within the administration, where you see a lot of chaos that had not really been seen before. Certainly, it hasn't been exposed before. Steve Bannon, a former campaign advisor and White House chief strategist, is quoted throughout the book talking about election night to the Russia investigation. So in some ways, it, it's probably the most dramatic thing we've seen in politics so far. The author says he had sources and spent months in the West Wing. In a tweet yesterday, the president says he authorized zero access to the White House and turned Wolf down many times. He wrote, I never spoke to him for book full of lies, misrepresentations and sources that don't exist. The political professor tells me it will be interesting to see in the coming weeks if the president will move forward with a lawsuit. And I'm sure we'll hear more about this tomorrow and in the coming days. Mm -hmm. Okay, me, thank you.